Let's look at dissolving a solid. We'll have magnesium hydroxide, and we'll put it in water. We'll stir it until it completely dissolves. Keep adding magnesium hydroxide until it will no longer dissolve. And there's just a speck that, no matter how hard we stir, won't dissolve. Now, I'd like that to dissolve. What's the best strategy for dissolving that additional speck of magnesium hydroxide? Should I add 0.1 molar H2SO4, sulfuric acid, 0.01 molar sodium hydroxide, or plain water? Think about those three and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, strong acid will react with OH- and shift the equilibrium to more dissolved products. B, strong base will bond with magnesium and release more products. Or C, dilution always aids in dissolving solids. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're dissolving magnesium hydroxide in water to form magnesium and hydroxide ions. Magnesium hydroxide sparingly soluble, so the reaction favors the solid, and you can write the equilibrium expression, magnesium ions and hydroxide ions squared in this case, stoichiometric coefficient of 2. The pure solid doesn't appear in equilibrium expressions. So we have a KSP solubility product for magnesium hydroxide. Now, if I'm going to add one of these compounds, the mixture sulfuric acid, the mixture sodium hydroxide, or pure water, which will best dissolve, which will best increase these concentrations? Well, you can think about this in a couple ways. This A is a strong acid. Adding a strong acid will react with the OH minus quite strongly. They'll form water. H3O pluses and OH minuses form water. That will lower this concentration. If I lower that concentration, the reaction will shift, Le Chatelier's principle, shift towards the products to raise these concentrations. So the magnesium ion concentration will go up, and you'll dissolve more solid by adding some strong acid. Actually, the, the reverse occurs if you go with B. Adding NaOH adds so, sodium hydroxide, adds hydroxide ions. That will shift the reaction back towards product. Excuse me, back towards reactant, the solid. And the solid will increase. So this will actually make these guys come out of solution and precipitate to form the solid. So this is actually worst case scenario. If I add plain water, that will dilute the solution. These two concentrations will go down, and more will dissolve to make these concentrations come back up to the equilibrium constant. The question is, which goes faster, adding some acid or adding the straight water? Well, adding the acid will go faster, because in addition to the dilution, you get this Le Chatelier's principle effect. And you can show that if you write this expression in terms of the magnesium ion concentration, solve for that in terms of these other concentrations. So if I solve for the magnesium ion concentration, that's KSP over OH squared. But in water, H3O plus times OH minus is always KW, 10 to the minus 14th. So I can solve for OH minus in terms of H3O plus and KW. If I do that, then I have Kw squared times the acid concentration. So this is just some math. But what it shows you, it shows you, well, I understand how equilibria hold. They all hold at the same time. So when I take this one, which is just this equilibrium, and I substitute Kw, that's just saying that equilibrium is also holding at the same time. So Kw is H3O plus times OH minus. So I can use that equilibrium and this equilibrium simultaneously. When I do, I get an analytical expression for the magnesium ion concentration versus the acid concentration. And it's a strong function. It goes as the square of the acid concentration. So as H3O plus goes up, the magnesium 
goes up as well in a squared fashion. So a quadratic increase in my magnesium ion concentration by adding strong acid. In this case, the best answer is A.